let's talk about navigation in Sasquatch. We basically have three main components in Sasquatch, and that is the click, the oomph, and the direct. Now, the click, as you can imagine, is a tick, tick, tick. We can add for kick drums and things of that sort. The oomph is the boom, boom, boom. And the direct signal is the original signal, which we can use a whole bunch of or none of or anywhere in between. Uh, each one of these has an edit window. So if we have click, we want to click edit. This allows us to affect the shape, uh, which is the kind of the sound, the waveform we're using for the click. And then we can adjust the tone of it with uh, two low-pass filters that have a focus, which is resonance. And then with the oomph, we click on edit. And then we've got the frequency of the original note, the, the target note, if we wanted it to snap to a note. And say we wanted a boom and exactly b1 or you know a sharp four we have that option we have sustain and we have decay then we have a dive feature which lets us take start at a higher frequency and then based on the speed it'll go down to the original frequency here or in this particular case when the frequency is higher the the main tone frequency is higher than the dive it'll actually go up so it's the, i guess it'll be a climb in that particular case that's pretty rare most sounds we're used to start high and go boom, boom, and they do it fast enough and it sounds like a cool kick drum or whatever. Then, of course, we have the speed to control whether it's going to go boom or boom. Ooh. And then we have harmonics, which allow us to blend in additional uh, frequency components into the signal. And again, we'll get in all of the details here, but I kind of wanted to give you just a quick walkthrough of how this works and why. And then lastly, we can edit the direct signal. The original signal that we are going to either replace or augment. And of course, we could turn the, just the direct signal off and rely entirely on oomph and click, which is what we do a lot in the presets, um, which are more electronic uh, type stuff. Um, and then for the direct signal, when we click on this edit, we've got a high pass filter. We've got a resonance for that high pass filter, which works exactly the same as Boss Digital Lab's Bark of Dog. And then we have a low pass filter for knocking off the top end. This is very, very handy if we want to add gigantic bottom end to a, a kick drum that maybe already has some bottom end we don't want the two conflicting that can get real nasty so i like to high pass you know any kick drum uh you know like 120 or something like that we can use resonance to bring back some meat in that though and if you're not sure on resonance uh shoot me an email i need to make a video just for resonance so everybody knows what's going on with this because the knob's not always as intuitive as it could be and of course the low pass filter lets us knock off uh, the top end so that we can act rely on our click or just not use it at all and then we have our detector stuff here which we'll get into details and in all this too but what this does it lets us the detection goes on behind the scenes and so if you've got a signal with a lot of sustain for example like a boom well maybe you don't want all that boom maybe you just want that initial eh. we can ditch all the low end we can ditch all the top end we can set a gate and we have a makeup gain knob and this lets us get very precise and do some really cool tricks too um in the trick and Sasquatch into being uh, doing what we want to do. Uh, I'm being vague, but I'll show you all the details in an upcoming video. And of course, if you're new to, to Sasquatch, always remember here in the top right corner, we've got a question mark. So no matter where you are, click on this edit, you can see all the controls will be explained to you. There's a lot that goes into Sasquatch. It's I wouldn't say it's a very easy plugin to jump into, unfortunately. However, by using that question mark and doing a little tinkering and being very creative, now, there's a lot of power in this thing. Okay, and lastly, if you turn off all the edit buttons, which basically means if you if there's a blue edit button, you turn it off, this will always take you back to the, the main metering in Sasquatch. Sasquatch has an input, an output, and then this little triangle doodad, which isn't as obvious as maybe we should have made it, uh, is a level control. So when you got a pound and drum that may be clipping all that crazy. So we're getting a little in the red a little bit. Well, you can just pull it down. My six. And again, you get to this anytime you're looking at the, any of the edit menus. Just click on that blue button one last time, and it'll turn off edit mode, and you can adjust level. And it doesn't hurt anything if we're clipping a little bit as long as we catch this somewhere else. Now, it's kind of good gain structure principles, fundamentals, whatever, not to shove this thing way up. But being that it's digital, you're not going to hurt anything way past zero while it's in in the software. Once you render it, who knows? That's when you're looking at brick wall emitters and all that stuff. Kind of getting into the basics of gain structures is kind of beyond the scope of Sasquatch at this point. But just remember that if you're really smacking the level, 
um, and getting in the red a lot, uh, which is easy to do because all this low end chews up a huge amount of level, then back it down a little bit if you need to. It's right now. Out. <laughs>